Oh, yeah, right, was here. Oh, sorry about that. Nature called. We're going to take a little break from our regularly scheduled program to talk about taking breaks. Wow, right on schedule. That almost never happens. This break is brought to you by Julia B. Julia B asks, you guys are always saying, be safe, take more breaks. But what does that actually mean? I sit on the chairlift for 10 minutes every lap. Doesn't that count as a break? Julia, the bike park has a firm stance on this. Your ride on the chairlift does not count as a break. Neither does your time spent standing in the lift line. A break counts as stopping and doing something else for a short period of time. Each lap consists of everything going up and down the mountain. We're not saying that you have to stay in the village for a break. We're just saying that you have to set aside a little bit of time here and there to break the day up. But every rider's different. So everyone should just listen to their body. Fatigue is literally, not figuratively, literally the number one cause of injury in the bike park. So you can all take some little breaks during your rides or risk taking a big break by getting hurt. And we all know what that leads to. Shuttle time, couch time, downtime, healing time, and worst of all, time off the bike. These kind of breaks can be avoided though. Lunch shouldn't be your only break of the day. Break at a skills center, break at a trail hub. Heck, break at one of the vistas we have set up. Breaks are good. We're gonna rip through some comments really fast here with another episode of Rapid Fire Response. Angus asks, when will the Stevie Smith DH track be open? Angus. It's called 1199 and it's gonna be open sometime in 2020. Mr. Gibbles asks, I hear wild animals like to clean up mountain biker blood, especially on freight train. Is that true? I don't believe that's true, but uh, there's a lot of stuff I don't know, so who knows? Campbell M says, one day every year have a bike skimming contest like in the winter, but with bikes. That's not how hydroplaning works and I don't think that the lawyers are gonna like it very much. Keenan asks, will you slap pack my ashes into a jump if I die soon? Yeah, I will. Eric says, Move the bike park closer to Calgary. No, I moved from Calgary to get closer to the bike park. You'll have to do the same. Oscar says, move the park to Australia so I can ride it. Nor. Simon says, move the park to, no, I'm not moving the park. Let's, this is getting repetitive. Let's end on something more fun here. Selena asks, what conditioner do you use? A man never tells. We got an ask here from Devin P who wants to, oh. Yeah, this one's very short. Very to the point. It just says, cheaper food. So you wanna see what I got? I'm gonna show you how to make Pete's Trail Pops. bad boys are perfect. I'll be selling these doughy pockets in the lift line for the low, low price of a buck a piece if you're interested. Alternatively, if you have a season's pass and want to sample something else, GLC, Merlin's, Dusty's, and Garbanzo Bike and Bean all offer a discount with your season's pass. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.